this video is to convince you to study for the chemistry regions or keep on studying till the last moment for the chemistry regions. I got three reasons why. So let's go over them right now. The very first one is that most students find chemistry is a more difficult subject than bio. It's harder to imagine what's going on as far as atoms, molecules, ions, subatomic particles. We see cause and effect with physical and chemical changes and reactions, but that's on a big scale. It's hard to see what's going on on the small scale. Second reason, the chemistry regents this year for June 2019 is the last exam you're going to take. Classes end, you start exams. The Friday before going into the weekend of the chemistry regions, you have your typically your math exam. Well, either if you're taking geometry or algebra two, so you're going to be worried about that the week before, and you have to get ready also for the chem regions, which is June 25th. The third reason has to do with the conversion chart for the chemistry regions, and I want to compare that here to the living environment chart. Last year, your bio teacher might have been pushing you to study, and maybe it did, maybe it didn't. And you said, ah, not a big deal. I got my 75. I, I wasn't even close to failing. I want us to take a look at what percent of questions you had to get right in order to get a 65, a 75, and an 85 on the bioregions. Here they are. To get a 65, you had to get 41 points out of 85. In other words, you needed to know 48% of the test, less than half. To get a 75, which sounds fairly decent, even Jake would agree, you needed to know 61% of the questions, less than the traditional 65% when you're passing a test. In order to get an 85 on the test or higher, which is considered mastery, you had to earn 66 out of 85 points or 78%. Let's check out chemistry. For chemistry, the first thing I want you to notice, there are two 64s on this scale. That doesn't happen every chem regions, but it happens a lot. So you might get your report card back and go, man, I got a 64 and my teacher couldn't find me a point. Well, you know what? It might be more than one point. It might be two. In order to get a 65 on last June's chemistry regents, you needed to score 50 out of 85 points. That means for that 65, you needed to know 59% of the questions. In order to get the 75, you needed 64 out of the 85, which is 75%. So no break there. And then for an 85, you needed to know 75 out of the 85 points, 88%. So this is the third reason why you need to study for the chemistry regions. So as you get, do better, notice that you need to know more than what your scaled score is going to show. It's not impossible. You can do it. That's why your chemistry teacher keeps telling you to study. Work hard. Good luck.